What's up nerds, it's Mason, and I have uh, my pickups for the tail end of last year and January um, in regards to omnibus um, hardcovers and trade paperbacks. So let's get it rocking uh, with some awesome 90s nostalgia books. And that would be the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, basically got the first three trade paperbacks. I got first one, Volume 2, Volume 3. Um, those collect the first 12 issues. Um, I participated in the CGC board's holiday raffle, and I won a $30 Amazon gift card. Um, so I basically used that to buy those. Um, I've been really curious about the story. I've heard uh, tons of great reviews, and then it's very hyped up uh, because of the out-of-print um, year one hardcover which goes for you know over $300. Don't wanna spend that, so the trades will have to do, same story. <laughs> but um, also wanna get those because I picked up um, the year two hardcover. Yeah, featuring the good old Red Ranger, my favorite Ranger, so it's, it suits me. Um, so this one came out in December. Um, it is pretty sold out now, but not impossible to find for around cover price. You know, it's not going for hundreds of dollars or anything. So just do a little search and you might be able to find yourself one. Um, I remember I found this one. Um, it's like around $50 on a, an app called Mercari. Um, it's just a buy sell app. Um, I didn't like any of the ones. I think there was a couple on eBay at the time and they were like $75 or something and I was trying to find a cheaper deal. Um, and I just Googled it and got lucky, found that app and everything was fine with the sellers. So yeah, got it. I've read them and they were great, great fun comics. Um, definitely paid a good tribute to the old Power Rangers while giving them a, uh, a nice modern uh, update. Um, looking forward to reading the rest of them. Uh, probably just collect them in the nice hardcovers from here on out. Uh, next, one that's pretty consistent on my hauls, um, the BPRD. This would be Hell on Earth Volume 4. Um, uh, I read like Volumes 1, 2, and 3 all in one shot. Uh, finished those in October, so I had to wait a couple of months. Uh, to pick up back with the story, which is kind of frustrating. Um, I remember when I read Plague of Frogs, I was able to read that one all the way through, so it sucks having to wait a little bit to read this story all the way through. Now we're waiting on the, the last volume, uh, five, I think March or April, so yeah. Great story, great read. BPRD is definitely probably top five in uh, things I've been picking up, so yeah. And then we got a nice little trade. Uh, we got uh, Deadpool, uh, the most recent ongoing series by Scotty Young. Um, just fun, turn your brain off Deadpool comics here. Uh, for, collects the, the first six issues. Um, this is also my first experience trade waiting for Deadpool. Um, last ongoing I picked up, it was on my pull list and I picked up every issue. Um, so doing a little different this, this go around. I uh, figured I'd just pick up the trades every six months. Eventually it'll be an omnibus, and then one of my lucky friends will probably get these donated to them. Can't get enough of the pool, man. Um, all right, and my last two were some nice omnibus. So first, we have Silver Surfer. What? Yeah, this by Dan Slott with art by Michael Allred and Laura Allred. Oh yeah, has a great wraparound cover. It's the same uh, design on the inside uh, without the dust jacket, I mean. Anyway, um, basically, like I've never read any Silver Surfer. i um, always been intrigued by the character. He seems kinda, you know, psychedelic. And, you know, I'm always interested in space travel type comics, um, especially for the artwork. Um, but um, via the Omni Bros Live, uh, specifically Jess the Omni Dog, um, he gave it the award for his favorite read of 2018. 
And then when he was just showing off the interiors, it just captured my eye and it seemed like um, a fun place to start with the character. Um, didn't have a lot else on my backlog that really excited me. Um, so just thought I'd pull the trigger on this one, see what it was all about. Hopefully it lives up to the hype, but I f I'm feeling pretty good about it. Probably start it tonight and see what it's all about. So yeah, we'll see what's up with the surfer. And then last, uh, one for my backlog, a big honking book. It's the American Vampire Omnibus by Scott Snyder. Um, I read this run about two years ago um, and have sold my hardcovers to upgrade to this beautiful tomb. Um, great story, definitely uh, probably my favorite vampire story. Um, mm, great artwork. Uh, mostly by Raphael Albuquerque, um, even has uh, Stephen King's creative help on this book. Um, definitely deserved an omnibus format. Um, couldn't pick it up right away because had a lot of other things um, coming out around that time that were a higher priority to me. When it's like an omnibus is coming out of something that I've already read, um, it'll probably be overtaken by other things that I haven't read. Um, if they are coming around that time, if you know what I mean. So I knew I'd pick it up eventually, um, and voila, I have it now. Um, hopefully we see more from this story in the future, as Scott Snyder has hinted at before. But uh, love the characters in this book, love Skinner Sweet. Um, I'm sure I'll give it a reread sometime in the future. But highly recommend it. If you've never read this story, it's a beautiful omnibus to, to give, give it a try. Um, I doubt you'd be disappointed. Yes, sir. So that's all the uh, the fun books I have to share with you guys. Uh, thank you so much for checking me out. And uh, keep it real. Stay warm.